Plans underway, Yuki, for the 17th annual Philadelphia Juneteenth Festival in Germantown, hosted by Johnson House. And this Saturday from noon to 7, you can enjoy an outdoor festival filled with food, history, and of course music. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Rakesha Bailey caught up with some musicians who are getting ready for this big day. We were just in time to listen in on a jam session. So Our House Culture Center in Germantown is always filled with artists and musicians ready to put on a show. Here we have Tony Day and his band is across the globe. They are an amazing jazz band. This is their second year performing with the Juneteenth Festival. And then we have Synovia. Synovia is a neo soul inspirational artist. Uh, she has a new album out, um, and this is her third year performing with the Juneteenth Festival. Founder Courtney Childs explains that these are not members of the same band. What you're hearing are individual musicians who are playing together for the first time to celebrate Juneteenth, also known as Jubilee Day, Liberation Day, and Freedom Day. The meaning of Juneteenth has become known to so many people. It's so important for us to keep this going, for us to share everything that makes us unique. And it's been an absolute honor for me these last six years to come on board, learn. This artist learns from no other than Cornelia Swenson, the executive director at Johnson House Historic Site, which was an underground railroad stop. Enslaved Africans could find a place to rest, to get something to eat, and support and assistance on their way towards freedom. The Johnsons were Quakers, and there were some Quakers, not all, that believed that enslavement was wrong, slavery was wrong. Saturday, June 17th, from the Johnson House to our house, this cobblestone road will be filled with vendors, art, culture, and lots of food. And if you're lucky, you might even catch this smiling ballerina who can also reflect on our past. Enjoy the celebrations that mark the end of one of the darkest moments in history. Wakisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia.